Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of The Deep End. Oh, that was awkward. Um, I meant, listen. Oh. Hey, it wasn't as good as I thought, but you continuously see wool flying around. I love that. And the rate of return is so great. I'm loving this farm, guys. It's doing so nice. Ugh, and look at that, only two wool out of all of that stuck up here. It's a very great farm. I know there's better designs by really good redstoners out there, but you know what? This is, it's working for me, man. It's working for me. So let me check it out. Wool collection, we got two stacks and a half just chilling here. And while I'm here, I might as well make a bunch of announcements. So let me turn this off because this is going to be noisy, but I got two plugs that I need to make right now. Uh, before anything so two big things number one we now Shelby will H and I have collaborated to create a deep end poster so it's on the screen now if you are interested in purchasing it it will be available at the deep end uh, on this website you can also find a poster for our Avenue series that we did a while back that still hasn't really sold out and then the last of the signed grubble bomb posters which there's not many of those left so if you want to grab a signed poster that we did in LA together it doesn't have will unfortunately though it's just Shelby H and I you can get that but the main thing is is we have a deep end poster now I love it you have H on his submarine Shelby on the lighthouse I'm like fishing in my little ice castle and will has his fiery volcano in the background other than that you have the opportunity to buy a deep end merch now I guess it's official deep end merch Woo! Uh, so there's that and secondly I now have a public discord server where all of my fan base of biznatches of the grazer fandom can connect and get together and chat and it's like a nice community I see it being very very like successful it's been great so far to see everyone connect um, and there's already, I think, about 400 members or close to that. So I'm excited, man. I love this. And I'll be on there every once in a while. I don't use Discord itself that often, but it's honestly been a good idea. So thank you, Craftman, for setting that up. Now, on to actual deep end stuff. So in the last couple episodes, I admit, all right, I was a little clumsy. I messed everything up. I've been burning down my house. been making everything look uggos. So I took the better part of a couple hours today to completely clean up for all of you who have been waiting for this. I know you're about to get so happy. Uh, I'm one of those people that can't stand when things are wrong. Um, and so I'm going to give you a little tour of what is new at the Grazer home. So first things first is I fixed the ice bridge into my home. It used to be like half um, you know, mycelium and now it's like you know it cuts off at the right point up in here. Da, 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 da. The banners are gone. <gasps> what happened to all my stuff? So what I want to do here is I want to make a kitchen. Uh, Minecraft is introducing a bunch of new blocks soon, like the stone cutter, the saw, or I don't really know the names of them. But I want to use this room as like the main center point to experiment with all those new blocks because I'm almost certain they're going to be functional blocks and it could be my operational kitchen. So because of that, I needed to move everything else out. So there's no more furnaces, no more nothing except for a crafting table and this chest, which I'm keeping here because it is just all the stuff that I have on me that I need uh, and that I throw away from my hotbar that I might still need in the future, like dirt I'll always need on the ready, mycelium I will, uh, just anything I would really just need quickly without going into the basement, which is now all fixed. So last episode, there was the fire incident and it kind of lit on fire half of my home. It was awful. So Will came on and fixed the staircase for me and I fixed the downstairs. So in the basement now, da -na 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 -na, I made magma block walls all the way down. And now the entire floor is stone brick. And all my tools are here, and I kept the brown bed because it's kind of like a signature uh, landmark of this basement construction. And on this side, it's a perfectly centered chest assortment with furnaces at the back. And in the chests, I've gone ahead and organized them all. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, this is the only chest where I'm not completely sold. I think I'm going to use this for all the new blocks that come out soon. That could be as early as like tomorrow or Thursday because I don't know when the snapshots come out on a weekly basis. 
Usually it's Thursday or Wednesday, so we'll see. And then look at all this. All organized. I guess I should put that there because they look kind of similar. And then all the colorful stuff. And more colorful stuff and more like, you know, granite, andesite, dirt, which I don't know why that's not on my other chest. And then just wood stuff at the bottom. So everything is organized now. I should put like a block of coal into every one of these furnaces just so they're on the ready. But this looks great. Now, how did I contest this downstairs? Well, I haven't actually done much downstairs since because I kind of wanted to keep the, the history of it. If you guys remember... I actually got this from Lizzie, and Lizzie kind of doesn't play the server anymore, and she built this, so I don't really want to modify it that much, because, like, it's Lizzie's. It's kind of like, you know, it, we remember it as being Lizzie's contribution, contribution to my island. But it's kind of uggos now, with the basement kind of chiming in. So I've been thinking about lowering it a level and putting an actual roof, who knows? But what I did do is I made this look better. Da -da -da -da! Now I have two... Wheat farms, auto wheat farms, except for this one really doesn't work. It's just there for display because I didn't like how this one wasn't centered. So now I have two. It looks all centered and I might close this off with prismarine. But the bottom line is this is the only room in my whole house now where I'm kind of confused on what to do. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know. Uh, village, I didn't really touch that. And then the last thing that I cleaned up was over here. And this was due to Will's help. I'm keeping my portal at a permanent larger size now that pandas have been introduced because I will have to get them to my island to breed and such. But then there's a staircase that's been rebuilt. Completely rebuilt. And my launcher is there, but fixed. I finally caved it all in. I built over top, fixed it all up. Now if we want to use my launcher, well, how are we going to use it, Grace? Well... The staircase that I put there is gone, and I have two things on my to-do list that are urgent. I need to complete that launcher, which I plan to do, not this episode probably, it's gonna keep delaying it. But then we have to build that panda exhibit, which we're not actually going to build, it's going to be probably Delphron. But I have my staircase that I moved in here, and this is all me. Go up here, and then you reach Balcony Benny, lovely Emporium. Go through the little fence gates, and there he is, it's Benny! And because it's all lit up up here, usually there's no mobs that spawn. The only thing I really need to light up more is the top of my uh, place, my palace. Because sometimes mobs would drop in from where the launcher was, but now that's covered up, so it's all good. And I'm thinking if I just do this... Ah, well that did not work. So, I thought wrong. Because I thought that maybe we wouldn't even need the top exposed in order to make this work. Or maybe we could just jump up here and then activate flight. Boom, and whoa, look at that! So the launcher's not totally bad. Got the dolphin's grace, and it's raining, so I can go wherever I want. Which means I'm going to go show you one other thing I did. At my island, there's something here that uh, is kind of the elephant. Whoa! Jeez, that scared me. There's kind of an elephant in the room at my island, and, um, well... <sighs> Oh, okay. Oh, we're here. Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't fly, man. I use this downstairs mine a lot. I'm not even sure I've shown this to you guys since I've started mining here, but it's a lot more peaceful because I put a bunch of torches everywhere. Mobs don't spawn nearly as much as they do underneath my actual base, which I need to take care of someday. I've been planning to just mine that out so it's perfectly bedrocked and then do something about that area. I don't know what I want to put down there just yet, but I've made a quicker way up. And that is just putting a sign here, go up onto the top, and just try it and rate out. Three tridents, and I'm usually right out, and it takes three seconds. And if I want to get back in without using the path, like the path is great, it's a it's an optional maneuver. I can just try it down in three tridents as well, and I don't take any damage. So, I've been doing a lot of grindy work that's just clean up, and now I feel good. On that note, let's go and sell a panda. Because I know I talked about an H's episode. If you watch H's episode, I discussed maybe doing a panda exhibit, which I just showed you on that. And I just realized you might not even know what I'm talking about. So basically, if you remember Stacy's Cat Cafe from the Cube Season 1, we're planning on making a panda cafe where we collect all different types of pandas. And I've actually learned new things about pandas and the scaffolding, which I will get to right after this clip where I sell Shelby a panda because I still have my panda store.
Oh, Grazer! What do you want? I'm just finished repairing my house without the help of Will at all. And it's all <laughs> nice and repaired now. I just, sorry, I, I burned it down last episode, <gasps> so it's it's all fixed up. So what do you want? Why are you at my house, huh? Uh, well, I heard a rumor that you might be able to help me with my panda situation. Huh? I killed my panda. Did you hear and that? And I spent like three days. Did you hear that? Did you? Did, huh? did I hear what? That I could really help you with your panda? Because H doesn't oh, yeah. seem to be supporting it. H is Wait. saying that I shouldn't be selling pandas. He wants to create a whole panda like zoo or cafe where there are all the different types of pandas like to chill and hang out. And he doesn't support my panda shop. So maybe I shouldn't sell it to you at all. But, but, but H is lame. And also... Hey, that's what I wanted to hear. Come on <laughs> in. <laughs> yeah, come on in. Your panda's sitting right here. Look at it. It's so cute. <gasps> what are you going to name it? <gasps> My other one was named Pandora, but oh, that died? sheep is not having it. Yeah, well, the sheep wants to be your, your <laughs> pet like, instead. Out. Yeah. <laughs> the sheep's Ooh. like, look, I'm a panda too. I can blend yeah. in with the panda. <laughs> I've seen enough sheep that I thought were pandas, so I'm having none of that. All right, so truth be told, you are actually my first sale ever, and yes, I like the panda shop oh. idea. I was just teasing you into getting you to confess that H is, in fact, <laughs> lame. Uh, it well, takes me... Easy. I just calculated it. From the jungle to here in the nether, it takes me about 20 minutes to transport this guy. So I think a diamond a minute is fine. I'll give it to you for 20 diamonds. What do you think? I think I have to go home. All right, go get those back. diamonds, because there's right. no way that you can find a panda yourself faster than you can get 20 diamonds. This is a deal no, for you, you right now. Wait, 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 wait. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Hello. Don't you want to bring your panda <gasps> with yes, you do. on your you boat? I didn't bring any bamboo with you. You think I don't oh, have bamboo? Sheep. I'm a panda shop owner. <laughs> okay, push you him out. everything ready. Why is he not coming? Oh, is he coming? Is he coming? Come on. Come on. Is uh, this is this Pandora the second or what's what's this guy saying? You know, I'm not sure yet. Come on, little guy. Pandora He's barely not that little. even got to live her life. Yeah, sorry it's not a baby because I did get a baby one, but by the time <gasps> I came all the way over here, it already grew up. Like it's that long of a distance to travel. So, <laughs> so this was a baby? It was a baby oh, until I got here. That's okay. Come on, little guy. Come on. And I'm not even mad that it's just a regular normal panda. Yeah, that's, that's all that the... I had anyway. Okay, good, because that's the only ones I can sell right now. I don't have any <laughs> other ones, so. Pandas never want to go the way I'm pushing them. Dude. Can I have the bamboo? Maybe maybe it'll like me. It's got to learn it... that I'm yeah, a yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoops, that's my very <laughs> expensive <laughs> flint and steel. Here you go. I will not be lighting it on fire. It's I a shiny it flint and steel. All right. Oh, panda. Take the bamboo out. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm oh, carrying it, too. There you go. Yeah, oh. there you go. It that's your owner. Shelby. Oh, Look at her! Come yeah, on! Transporting this thing? I traveled 10,000 blocks. Why would land. you not do it in the nether? I don't because get it. Because everyone else has died in the nether. Not mine. Maybe we Mine have never died in the, the nether. Boat. Never. Okay. Well, mine have only, the only died. One. Mine have only ever died when they got them through the portal and they suffocated. There you go. <gasps> yes! It's okay. in. Oh. Alright. I'm gonna little follow you to your island. You're gonna give me the monies. 20 diamonds, please. <laughs> Do not trust me to come back. And well, I'm I here. Do have to... <laughs> Give me a minute. <laughs> wow, slowpoke. I can't hey. believe how slow you are. You want to peep something that I've been working on? Yes. Yes, Go I do. Go fly over Megan's Bury. If you'll remember, it was made out of clay before. It was. And now, hold on, hold on. It is. Wait, why isn't my elytra uh -oh. not activating? Oh, no, the world, the world. Is it doing oh, it? No. It did it. I fixed it. I'm oh, back. my I'm gosh. Back. It looks so much better now. Right? Is this so concrete? It is concrete. Dude, concrete okay. looks fire. I like it as a building block. It looks so That's crisp. That's what I just said. Okay, wait. You haven't updated the map yet, you said? Uh, I haven't shown my audience yet the, the final product, but you get to see it. Wait, but what about the map? Did you update the map? Oh, I did. Okay, I want to go see it. It doesn't look as bright on the map. Oh, dang. All right. Here we go. Here we go. 20. I'm going to check it out. I want to see it on the map. 20 diamonds. You got it? Yes, I do. Oh, wait, it looks kind of like the exact same on the map <gasps> as before. What? Why is why are there mobs on my island now when I have someone to protect? Well, they don't they don't go after the panda, so you're all good. They better not. Okay, I'm gonna trust that the panda's cool in the boat for a while. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm at my real estate office. If and you I'm fly over. following you up. Oh, you're. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? All right. Have you actually done anything with this? Because I'm pretty sure all the new members just 
got their own islands and did it from there. Yeah. <laughs> Out of uh, other than my job, have you done? Yeah, anything? I did yours. Uh -huh. And I did this free project for Megan. Ah, for free though. And... No profits there, huh? No profits. Well, she, I just switched her island to concrete. I didn't create a whole new Ah, one. that's true. That's true. Although, All right, give me my money. Way more work. Okay, okay, here you go. Thank you. <laughs> All right, there you go. Enjoy your new panda. If it dies, it's not my fault. I got it to you successfully. Have a good day. Oh my God, and if it you. does die or you ever wanted to have a brother... Then let me know and I can I sell you call. another one. Yeah. Thank you, Grace. And I'm going, I'm trying to expand my selection because although we are going to do that cool H idea, even though H is totally lame, I still do <laughs> want to sell pandas to people because people are going to need it. So I'm going to try to find more in the wild to breed so that you, people Sweet. can have different types of pandas. <gasps> what? How do I heal the panda? How do I heal the panda? Bamboo. Right click it with bamboo. It should uh, be more happy. Mine wasn't healing when I gave it bamboo. I don't know then. Bye! <laughs> No, it's not my fault anymore. Alrighty, Panda sold. And let's get into the new things that I have not actually explored in this snapshot yet. So I kept a crafting table here, obviously, because of that. I'll always need a crafting table. So you guys proved the, me wrong and will. And wow, that makes a lot of scaffolding. They are not rare to make at all. Basically, last episode, we tried this thing where we drop uh, scaffolding. And we were like, oh, it doesn't work on Java, blah, 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 blah. And then I got some comments saying, you should really watch Snapchat videos because they totally do if you extend them out far enough. So apparently if I extend this out like six blocks, it will then fall and the experiment will work. Hey, look at that. Yo, Will, I know oh. I'm filming right now. But I think this is but like necessary for you to be in it. You caught me. You're a deep voice, by the way. Non exciting. He's a deep voice. Deep, deep voice. voice. You finally caught me. No, deep no, no. Voice but this has to do. With this has to this do with what you real. showed me. This has to do with what you showed me. I so, didn't show you anything. This last episode. Even last episode, you showed me the scaffolding trick that didn't end up working. But then I got some comments on my episode that said, "Uh, yeah, duh, it works. You just have to extend it out a certain number of blocks." So if you build onto the side of scaffolding for like six blocks, then it will drop. So now we can do the experiment now that we know how to do yeah, it. Yeah, but you watched the clip that I sent you. He didn't have to build out anything. He didn't. And you want to know why that is? It's because what? in the latest 1846A snapshot, one of the patch notes was they extended the amount of blocks it takes for a scaffolding to fall. Uh, so it all makes cool. sense now. So hop on and let's do the expair. I unfortunately don't have the time right now. I came here to upload my 2016 map video promo here. If I promo it and leave this promo in my app, will you come do this five minute interval with uh, me? Yeah, as long as people go and watch it because 2016 was an epic time. It was an epic time, yes. All right. You're gonna get me in trouble with my girlfriend though. Am I? He's downstairs waiting upon my return. Oh, well, you'll only be a couple minutes, so. Yeah, you try and explain that to her. <laughs> I'm sure Em will when understand. you get a girlfriend, Grace, just say, I'll, I'll just be a couple minutes and see what happens. Uh, I, well, I haven't gotten one yet, so. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Em's not that bad. Yeah, why are you painting your girlfriend to be so all. bad? <laughs> she just texted me saying I heard my name. <laughs> He was talking shiz. You've already done it, haven't you? Have you no, I've not. It? I've not tested it. So this is all on you. How do you get okay. up on top of it again? Okay, just like that. Space. Well, I mean, the idea in that clip that we watched was that you just drop one down. What? Didn't drop. Why did it not drop? Because maybe it senses that we're doing this. There we go. That one dropped. Okay, well, that's the idea. You're supposed to drop it off. You're not supposed to drop it and go with it, but I guess you could. Let me try. Nope. <laughs> you oh, took I'm the so damage. You I took the damage. Die. Wait. That's so how did they? It. How did they do so it you then? Fall faster than it. Well, it's just the same as we were doing it. You just drop it, let it fall, and then you can fall into it like we were doing. So just shift into it. Yeah, it's it's the same principle, but ah! no, 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 no. <laughs> Dude, that's hard. How do you do that? Well, the, heck? the principle is like the idea is that you drop it. Like this, or, or like whatever, like you put it on the edge of something, and then you drop it, and then you just drop into it like it's a pool of water at the bottom. Oh. So this doesn't it's actually have like any an change. It's water bucket. Oh, I thought you were no, going to like get into it. It does have, a change. It does it. have a change, because it's, you're supposed to be up high in the nether, and you're going to be stuck, and you're like, oh, I need to take this drop. So then you just 
drop one of these, and then you can drop down. Which we experimented with last episode. Now I want to see you you time it so. Yeah, now I want to see you time it so correctly that you'll land in it midair and not take damage. Okay. That was the worst timing I've ever seen. You still still took took damage. damage. Maybe because it's only one tall. Remember, they have to be a couple tall. Okay, wait, break all those. Break all those. I'll be the timer here. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Did it not yeah, work? Well? Dude, that's hard, man. But I see what you're saying. Well, it's really. It's not supposed to be like an MLG water bucket trick thing. Uh, okay, well, that's all I wanted to show you. I just wanted to tell you that it, it is, in fact, working. All right, so now that we've learned that and I showed Will that it can be done with no real success, now there's just a bunch of scaffolding chilling up there. Uh, there's another thing. I was in the nether earlier today, and I found over here by the edge of the nether a playful panda. This can only mean one thing. This is the duplicate of a panda that H must have brought back, and it was over here about to fall to its death. So, I am taking ownership of this panda, because it didn't look like H was going to do anything with it. It was literally chilling here, had nowhere to go. It was going to die if I didn't come in here soon. He was doing barrel rolls. He got a barrel rolled right off of the freaking map. And he has two playful pandas already. So he doesn't really care about this one. I shouldn't say that because he's really sensitive for some reason about this. I mean, I guess pandas are really cute. <gasps> Don't go that way. I'm going to take this guy. If H ever wants it back and he really is insistent on having this one specific panda, I'm not going to kill it. I'm still going to have the panda. I'm just bringing it back to my house right now because I want to start breeding this with Benny on the balcony. Balcony Benny. And here's why. Oh, my gosh. They go so fast. Oh, my gosh. Keep doing that. And he's through. So, basically, the thing that I didn't know about pandas is that, yes, the majority of the time, if I breed this and my normal one, it will produce one of the two. But what you guys commented was that each panda has a hidden gene. So although this one's main gene is playful, it's very playful, it has a second hidden one. And if I breed the two together enough, apparently another panda, another type of panda could come out of it. Now, this is going to be very hard to get this guy up to where Balcony Benny is because of how playful he is. Um, He just barrel rolls around everywhere. But we'll give it our best shot. Get in there. There you go, there you go. Level two completed. Barrel roll around here a bit. By the way, I did heal Goldie. Apparently he the tail was low, now the tail is good. <laughs> when the tail is low on a dog, they are very injured. I did not know that. Well, I kind of did, but I never actually acted upon it, so I did now. Come on up to your kingdom! Yes, bounce with happiness! So I'm just gonna have this guy out on the balcony, Benny, for now. And then I will be able to play with more genes. This is really all this is. Uh, if H is mad about this, that's fine. I can always give it back. But I really don't see why he would, considering he already has two in his cage. And I, I can check and verify that right after this. <gasps> you want it too? Come on in! Hello! No creepers? No, we're good. That's the last thing I want is both my freaking pandas to die right now. And just for proof, look at here. Looky here, looky here. Oh, wow. What the heck? There's three in here now. What the? Wait, what's the third one? The third one is... A playful one. They're all playful. Why does he have three in here? I swear I did not breed that third one. Maybe he's been doing it. Makes sense. Seven... Eight. All right, there we go. Whoa! Don't do that! Gosh! I thought that was a creeper. Do not do that game, please. No creepers around. Okay, you know what? I will just sleep. I will just sleep. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for these two that are not even brown to come in and produce the one in a million chance, the brown panda? Here we go! Want to breed? Oh, you're just... Oh, we got one. Oh, it's just a normal guy. Well, I'm going to keep these guys up here for now and continue to breed them and then see if we get anything cool. For now, I have to bring my cat on a little journey. 
because there's something I haven't tested yet as well. So I actually have to be very careful with this little guy because here, let me give him some cooked fish. Oh, I guess he doesn't really eat that. He only likes raw. Uh, reason being is get in the boat. You can't get another cat right now since they don't spawn and ocelots don't make cats, but I want to see what the cat can do. There we go. In something quite specific. Apparently, cats scare off phantoms now, and where else are we gonna find phantoms? Of course, Danny and Franny. So, if I position a cat right next to the phantom thing, are they gonna react in a certain way is my question. Let's see. Whoa. Was that them like hissing or something? What kind of noise was that? Okay, so we'll put this here. Whoa! Put the cat into visibility. Dude, is that the cat hissing? Dude. That is insane. I've never heard that before. Hold on. Wait, I only see one phantom in here. What about over here? Is there one in here? Wait a second. He looks like he's scared. He wants to get away from the cat. Is there two in there? There's just one phantom in there. One of them's dead. One of them's dead. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who killed one of the phantoms? Says when? How'd this happen? Yeah, I only see one. I didn't kill any. But yeah, that... Now that the cat is in view... Like, I want to just send it in there with him. Oh gosh, because it's going to teleport back to me if I go farther, far enough away, right? So, get a water. Put the... Destroy this. Ah, no! No, 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 no! I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do this. And then... Send him in. Alright. Does he scare him? Yeah, he's scared. Yeah, he doesn't want to come down. It's exactly what I didn't want to happen. I saw he was like a little under the water there. I didn't know if it was enough for him to drown. Now let's exhibit his patterns now that the cat's not here. Does he ever come down? Yeah, he comes down now. Okay, so it did scare him. Because he never came down when the cat was there. So we successfully killed Lightyear. And I got rid of that stupid contraption. Why does something always bad have to happen in every episode? Well, I guess it's not that bad. Because we're going to have the new cats come out probably very shortly. I would even say this week, if not at some point. And we can go search for new ones. But man! It's a second cat death now. The only animal I've had that's not died since the beginning of the series is Brody. Brody the OG. I've never seen this. What is this supposed to be by Delfron? Like a cage with animals in it or something? Oh, that is so original. Like, oh my gosh. He's the Kraken is holding a bird cage. Ugh. Wish I could think of stuff like that to keep my own pet safe. Look how cool that looks. Oh yeah, the invasion's happening like right after the snapshot. We just, we were gonna have it already. Oh, the lag. We we're gonna have the invasion already, but then the snapshot has generation issues. When, what the heck is that thing? What is this? Oh my gosh, Shelby built like a little memorial for her panda. We were gonna do the invasion, but because of the generation issues, uh, we didn't. And we're gonna wait till next episode I would say all right so yeah I haven't really had much luck breeding these guys I didn't really do that much of it I'm gonna do a lot of it off camera in between episodes and see what I can find but as of now every single panda that I've successfully babied has been the original normal one so great news yay I might even do some searching off camera in jungles and stuff we're finding that brown one okay and it's gonna be on like a memorial a memorial a ped pedestal at spawn and everything. It'll be the king of the deep end, alright? I'm gonna find it. But uh, until next time, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Peace out.